friends welcome back so in this video like uh, as I said I want to share a couple of troubleshooting steps for the beginners like uh, whenever, whenever you build a new Windows 2019 box or any Windows box so whenever when you try to ping it first time uh, you may not ping the server or when you try to RDP the server uh, you may not uh, able to RDP the server so in this video I, I just want to share couple of uh, troubleshooting steps where uh, you need to follow when you build a new server so before that I just uh, try to ping one of the server which I just ping uh, just build it so when I try to ping it I uh, like I assign the IP to that server like 192.168.0.32 so it's not pinging and even if I try though it is not pinging so we cannot RDP the server uh, so we'll log into that server and see what exactly is causing problem so yeah this is the server so I think uh, you guys already aware like how to access the server manager just you need to go to start and server manager if you click on that uh, what happens is uh, you will be able to see the server name and everything here so if you go to local server the details of the server will be visible and what all is configured will be visible here so already I joined it to the domain and this is the server name but when I ping the server it's not pinging and even RDP is not happening so if you look thoroughly it's like windows firewall is on for domain that is uh, this one if you click this you are able to see that firewall is on so if, if, if firewall is on uh, like rdp or even ping would happen so uh, in specific like uh, if your organization wants to enable the firewall in that scenario we need to enable the ports on the firewall uh, like uh, if it is for RDP, it's uh, 3380 port number. So you need to enable the port on the firewall. So, but here I don't require a firewall for this. So what I will do is like, uh, so I'm going to disable the firewall. For that, we need to run the command firewall dot cpl. So if you go here, you're able to see all are enabled so just go to turn turn windows defender firewall on and off if you click here you are able to see everything is uh, like here domain is on private network is on public network is on so just turn off the firewalls whatever is on click ok so now the firewall is off if you try to ping again from the other server it should ping now there we go so it's pinging so the next step is like enable enabling RDP so here we are able to see that remote desktop is disabled so we need to just enable the allow remote connection to the computer and uh, you can also remove this this is recommended but uh, if you if the operating system version is lower like windows 2008 or 2003 it won't allow you to allow rdp the server so that is the reason i just uncheck this one and uh, if you want to uh, give rdp to particular users you can click here and add the users where you can give only rdp access to the users uh, click ok so this is done just uh, refresh it so that you can see that it's enabled maybe yeah it's enabled now so here uh, we have couple options like uh, ethernet card like con we can configure uh, like ip from here itself so nick teaming we can do it here uh, from here so in my next video i will show how to enable nick video uh, how to enable nick teaming and why we use nick teaming all 
and uh, if you see here like uh, we have options to run windows update from here uh, like enable and disabling the windows defender antivirus and IA enhanced security configuration is on which I won't prefer to keep it on because uh, if you try to download anything every time it will pop up and it will say that uh, it is blocked uh, the URL is blocked and you need to add it manually so just disabling this will fix that like it won't uh, every time it won't uh, ask for like uh, to add it or whitelist the URL so I just turned off and uh, time zone you can configure from here activating windows is like everything can be done it from here so you can see also the windows version what version is that what is the hardware we are using and uh, memory and uh, hard disk capacity what processor is uh, like how many processors everything from here so now we are good we can rdp the server now as well as uh, we can ping the server so apart from that uh, i will share a couple of commands where we can see the server hardware like ms info 32 command which will which will show the hardware details everything like i'm using the uh, server with four processors uh, like if it is a physical box you can get the information here so uh, like like how what is the virtual memory everything here and the uh, hardware resources list will be like uh, visible here software and everything like whatever anything when it comes to troubleshooting part if you need anything in specific to relevant uh, components you can see it here uh, so that's all for this video any comments suggestions you can reach out me to on my mail id we student block at the rate gmail.com thanks for watching we'll meet in our next video bye bye